Hi Thank- everyone. Oh. Ah. <laughs> it is bank holiday weekend, which I've managed to get off as a Saturday and Sunday off. So I'm here for two days of the bank holiday. Woo, 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 woo. Which means that despite it being incredibly hot and incredibly sunny the last few days, now Sarah has the day off. It's grey and gloomy and it sucks. Yeah, that's pretty much how it works, isn't it? Whenever I have a day off, it's like you can... Like it's not even really a joke. That is literally 100% what happens every single time. No, well, like, if I have a day off on my own, it could be sunny. Sometimes. It's when we have a day off together. Yeah. That's when it rains and it looks crappy outside. But, um, we still can do something fun. We can still hang out. Who wants to get cute little donuts? <laughs> and remember, go to the juice in the store and I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to sneeze. I see. I see. Um, so yeah, what do you want to do today? I don't know what I want to do today, but I want to start by having breakfast because we went to Costco yesterday. So I bought everything. A lot of Danish pastries. Because I was like, well. I kind of want some Danish pastries and now I've got all of them. We bought like a lot of bulk drinks as well, which is cool. So we're definitely fully prepped for this this weekend. Just uh, don't know what we want to do. And we had some Costco pizza last night as well. We did. It's massive, so I've still got a couple slices left. But um, yeah, I kind of was hoping we could have a nice day out, go to like a beer garden and chill and sit outside. And not the day for that. Not the day for that. I was gonna suggest we went to my parents for a barbecue the other day, but then I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> I bet you any my parents are having like the sunniest day, and they'll ring them later and be like, oh, we're gonna come over for a barbecue, and they're like, you should, it was 35 degrees here, and I was like, what? Because <laughs> that's just like my life summed up. Yeah. We're gonna barbecue tomorrow, we hopefully. Do. Sarah's never had a Danish pastry before. Yeah. Well, I'm not, to be fair, I didn't eat a lot of things before we met. I didn't eat yeah. cookies, I didn't eat cake, and now I. Definitely like both of those. No, they both feels like a croissant. But these are really, really pretty big pastries. This is not a breakfast food. Yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> They're totally a breakfast food. Opinions on Danishes. It was pretty good. I don't think I would go out and buy them, but I would eat them if they were available. It's a good thing we have 10 available still. Too many. Uh, what else did we buy? We didn't really. We went to Costco last night because I wanted some cider, um, being the bank holiday weekend. And I was like, well, why buy one cider when I can buy a pack of fifteen wholesale amount of cider? <laughs> um, we got. You got twelve. You got twelve. Well, twelve's not too bad. I also bought a crate of cans of Pepsi Max, which is kind of dangerous because I can only really drink Pepsi Max on days off. Oh, here we go. I'm just gonna show you. Look at all the Pepsi. It was only like four pound, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really good. Um, because I can only drink Pepsi on a day off in the morning because I don't do well with caffeine. Ash bought like how many bottles of glass bottles of Coke did you buy? Um, twenty-four. Twenty-four glass Coke bottles, and Ash is the same. He cannot drink caffeine when he has work the next day, so. Bless you. I feel we're going to be stuck with these for a while. In my defence, the reason I wanted to buy these is because I think I talked about it in a vlog before, was I picked up a, a six pack of bottles of glass coke as food props because they look really good in photos and they don't look quite as good with the lids on because obviously everyone can tell you haven't opened it. Um, but I'm also really hesitant to open all them all the time because they were like five pounds for six in Tesco. So paying nine pounds for 24 glass bottles of Coke was totally worth it. Even if I don't drink all of them, it means that I'm lo- a lot more inclined to be able to waste them for a photo, which sounds really stupid, but you know. Sarah is finally almost ready. I had to bring my insurance people to get them to cancel my renewal. Yeah, I know. You're still taking ages. It's really hard to do that, Mary. <laughs> Maybe I'll flip the screen up for you. <laughs> <laughs> Too late now. So this is what I tried to show you the other day, but this is the the restaurant, and that's one of my pictures. So that's really, really awesome to see in person. Like, that's so cool. 
So we are off into town and I've left my phone at home, which is like so rare for me. You're and so it, sad about it. It sounds really weird, yeah, but it's really throwing me off. Like I can't Google anything. I can't look stuff up. I can't do nothing. I can't play on the internet when Sarah's talking and I don't want to listen. It's like, what do I even do now? I have to be a real person today. Oh, it's talk to me in my yeah. conversation. I'm not loving it. I really want to go home and go pick it up. I said we could. I'm steering you in the direction I want us to go. <laughs> is it lush? It may be it's lush. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That was fun, we got a couple of bath bombs. Yeah. I got one that's apple and cinnamon, which sounds amazing. I will smell like a pie. I don't really need any because I literally have a whole bath of them at home, but yeah, no. You know what? Why not? Why not? Yeah. Do you want to go to Food and Planet? Sure, let's go. Yeah. So Taco Bell do a lemon freezer and for three two ninety nine you can get it with tequila in, so of course I did. Let's remind anyone else of our old logo, like really, our really old one. I really want to buy these for you, but they don't fit. They would never fit, no. Sarah is getting the stocks. She was jealous of my drink. It's just a regular drink for like a regular person. So we came to town not really expecting to buy anything. We've come away with two suitcases. We've got them buy one, get one free, so we've got a really good deal. So now we're all prepped for holiday with our additional cases that we can bring. It's really exciting. Oh no, it's crashing. <laughs> I can't believe we got such a good deal on these. Yeah, I'm glad we waited for the bomb going free. Yeah, they were bomb going free from a place called Domo, which we always walk past and we're always like, we'll keep an eye on this place for when there's a deal on baggage. And there was, so now we have two cases. I was going to wait for Florida, but I think it's cheaper. This, yeah, is great. And my other bag will fit inside this one, so I can just take this one, my second case, inside it and just, you know, see if we need it. Need it. Now we're going into John Lewis. Headed back now. We picked up some really cool donuts. Donuts. So we'll show you those when we get in. It's quite windy, and um, the cases keep going away. <laughs> Sarah is really struggling with her case. It's like it's taking flight. It's literally flying away. <laughs> and we're all back again. <laughs> There's so much fun just wheeling these around pointlessly. It really is. We should have got the sit-on one. We can start them while ourselves around. Yeah. You never locked the store earlier. That's okay. It's a balcony. People can't get in that. Oh. <laughs> we got robbed by Spider-Man. Spider-Man. So we have these for cabin baggage. Which look really small now in comparison to this. Well, they are. I know why these were kind of more expensive because these are like the equivalent of the bigger padded one yeah. that was like 70. So this is what I meant, you like this and then you can do all these with one hand. Do they go to the exact same height? Yeah, oh, pretty much. Pretty much. So you go like this and then you can pull the other case along. We're going to have too many bags. I hope you know this. Too many bags. Too many bags. It's only you don't really buy that much. I've got like your whole case. <laughs> one of these is just going to come back filled with snacks basically. And plush. Snacks and plush, and then all the other stuff. And then the other stuff we want. We should have donuts. We should have donuts. Let's get alcohol first. What would you like? And a little secret bag. We've definitely stopped buying things like normal people and we're just buying everything in bulk now. We've bought like four cases in the last few days. All of this bulk tower of goodness. Pizzas. Giant pizzas. Silly donuts. Don't do anything by halves. Just go all out. Go crazy. Crazy. So these are the donuts. Sarah did two of them and I did three of them. Can I explain what's on mine? Sure. So all three chocolates, so milk, dark and white. This one's got sprinkles and marshmallows and this has got chocolate rainbows and marshmallows. Mine has got like a whole bunch of different things. So I've got like a white chocolate with some crunchy chocolate bits and like a caramel sauce. And then this one's like a milk chocolate caramel with the crispy chocolate. And then this one's like an apple and fudge and milk chocolate one. They're only like £4.50 for five of them. Um, but, and you can have as many toppings on as you like, and they come out warm. They make them like, like make them fresh, and then get all the toppings. And they drizzle them all on hot, and then you get to eat them. All. Pretty exciting. Yeah. I'm gonna have one of those in a second. I'm gonna eat some pizza. Good choice. As we didn't mention it earlier, I thought I'd show you what the company is actually called. They're Stone Ground Artisan Donuts. I like their logo. I think their logo is really cool. Let's see what their donuts are like. I'm hoping pretty amazing. I've heard great things. So this is the apple, cinnamon, milk chocolate and caramel one. 
I'm excited. That was a good donut. Uh, I don't think my topping choices were great. Um, the apple and cinnamon didn't really come through very well, but donut underneath it all, really, really good donut. Genuinely make a really nice donut. Did you like it? I did. Thank you for showing me this place. It's really good and it's really cheap. Well worth it. So I think I'm going to eat one of my donuts now. On mine, I got um, all three chocolates. I think I already told you. Marshmallows, rainbow sprinkles, which is the one I think I might eat. Maybe this one. I'm not sure. I'm watching Disney vlogs and it's pretty amazing. So this is, I'm drinking cider. These beers are ashes. The cider's mine. Yum, 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 yum. This is the one I've gone for. So let's give it a try. Mmm, these are so good. Yum, yum, yum. So it is quite a lot later in the evening now. Um, what time is it? It's like 11 o'clock. So I can't remember what time it was when we last spoke to you, but we've basically just been chilling out. Um, it got really sunny, like in the evening when it got to like seven o'clock, which was really annoying because it's been like really cloudy all day. Um, I've literally just been sitting here for ages pricing up car insurance because it's that time of year again where everything comes around to pay for your car. And it's annoying because obviously where I passed and got a car on the same day and everything, it's my MOT, my insurance and my tax all come on the same day, which is brilliant. <laughs> it's just a really expensive day. So I spent all evening pretty much looking at car insurance quotes. I found one I liked, I was happy with it. Paid, done, sorted for another year car insurance. MOT I managed to get early, so that's done. So the only thing I need to pay for now is my tax. But that hasn't come around yet, so that's okay. Probably leave that to the day it needs to be paid, I think. I don't know if you can pay in advance. I haven't really looked into that yet. It's been very expensive. So I'm just probably going to chill here for a bit watch a little bit of YouTube and then go to bed. Um, we are going to Ash's mum's tomorrow for, well it was meant to be a barbecue, but we'll see if it's sunny enough for a barbecue, who knows. Um, but we bought barbecue food for that, so we're going there around 12ish. Probably gonna spend most of the afternoon there. Come back here and then even though Ash has got Monday off, I am back at work for bank holiday Monday, so. Yeah, I think we're gonna leave it here tonight and I will see you in the morning. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Morning. We are off to my mum's house and the weather is not great. It is all overcast. So I don't know whether we'll be eating outside or whether we'll eat inside. Kind of have to do that lame classic British thing of doing barbecue food in the oven because you couldn't go outside. I mean, um, it's humid. It's like warm, but it's just not bright. I think it's just warm because we're in your car. No, it's warm. It's like... 20 degrees, but I'm pretty sure it's 20 degrees. Wow, okay. Eee, Apparently right. it is. 20 degrees. I'm going to open my window. So actually, I've got the aircon on. We're okay. Yeah. We can be like those rich people that have aircon. They're like, look at all those peasants opening their windows of their car, even though we're sweating in here. Like, <laughs> don't open a window. People think we're poor. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you on about? I, know, I I've seen that in like TV or something. Okay, as long as you you don't actually think that and you're just trying to reference something. No, I'm pretty sure it's in like a film. Oh, oh no, in a television show or something. Right, I don't know what you're talking about. Sticking all the meats on the barbecue. You're gonna do something. Get a good close up. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, look shot. at all of that. I'm so excited for all of these. Yeah, it's started to rain, but we are under a giant umbrella, so I'm not sure that we're actually going to go anywhere. It's just a uh, classic British barbecue weather. You can hear it coming down and this noise just reminds me of festivals and tents and Definitely. sitting outside in the summer and hoping that the rain stops soon. <laughs> the rain is still coming down and this has stopped being fun. We've so we're going up. inside now. Give it up. No more marsh no marshmallows for us. No. We'll make some when we get hungry. Maybe. It's drifting through now. Yeah. It's not an umbrella parade, it's like a sun shield, isn't it? Definitely stop being fun. Yeah, let's go inside. Had a good time with my mum's. Definitely wasn't the weather for a barbecue, but the food was nice and it was good to catch up. So we are just going to go home and then probably edit because we've got a vlog to edit for... Because we've got a vlog to edit for tomorrow. So that's our plan for the rest of today, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, chill out a bit. Yeah. I'll go back to work tomorrow. Aww.
And so we are back from Ash's mum's house. I've got myself a Cornetto, a cider, all that noise, colouring pencils, and I'm going to colour in some of my colouring book whilst watching some YouTube on the TV that Ash bought me for Christmas because I've fallen behind. I was meant to, I was meant to do one every month, wasn't I? And I still haven't finished January. <laughs> you said, I swear you just said. I'm going to watch some YouTube vlogs on the TV that Ash bought me for Christmas. No, and then I'm going to do some colouring. I think you said colouring while I watch some YouTube vlogs oh. on the TV that Ash bought me for Christmas. I'm going to colour in the book that Ash bought me for Christmas whilst watching YouTube videos on the TV with my new colouring pencils, eating a Cornetto and drinking a cider. What are you going to do? Laze around and drink some water, probably. No, no beer? It's super exciting. The beers aren't cold. Oh, put them in the freezer. Yeah, I'm going to. Okay. So I've done some colouring and I've decided that we're going to watch Pitch Perfect 2, even though I haven't told Ash. And we're going to eat some donuts. Which ones are you going to have? I don't know. I think I'm going to go with the white chocolate and salted caramel one, which is this one. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to go for this one because it's the one I have left, which is marshmallows and all the chocolate. Let's eat these now and watch the TV. So last week we had the dramatic revelation that Sarah was not there for the vlog. But this week, don't worry, she's Whoa! back. Whoa! You keep putting it right in my face. All up in my grills. It is fun to do that. It's not enjoyable to be the witness of that. So I'm back editing this week. Yay! So how was editing without me? It was fine. I mean, you came and like corrected it all anyway. Well, I don't want to say corrected, but improved. Yeah, I tweaked. Sweet. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. And I got it from work. I was like, I'm just going to see what you did. Cut, 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 cut. Well, yeah, because, you know, this is what you do and this is not what I do. Yeah. So, we're just editing this weekend vlog. And then, you going to have a bath? Yes, I'm going to have my apple and cinnamon bath bomb so I can smell like a pie. And then, I'm going to maybe have a watch some YouTube and have a think about some content for the futures. Good idea. Maybe get the internet's opinion on content for the futures. Maybe sure. I Maybe I'll just do my own thing, go off the rails. That sounds very much like you. I'll ask. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so we're going to finish editing this. I'm just going to have a bath. I'm going to sit on the sofa and do what I do all the time and just watch YouTube videos. Might colour, might not. So I'll see you in a bit. So it's about 12 o'clock and it started raining. I actually heard it. So we're going to... Well, we're stood on the balcony right now because it's really humid outside, enjoying the rainstorm. So I thought I'd bring you out onto the balcony with us. So I can remember this next weekend. Oh, it's all dark out here. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to be able to see much no. of us. But... You can hear it. I if it's going to see anything. No, it's too dark. It feels like holiday. It does, it's got that kind of like hot, humid air, but cool rain and... It's nice. Yeah. Oh, you can't really see me. It's nice though, we like it a lot. I think we're actually probably gonna go to bed now, aren't we? Yeah. So, so even though you can't really see us, you can see my hand. <laughs> Good night, everyone, and we'll see you next weekend. Thank you for watching. Bye. See you next time. So we literally just turned the camera off, and it just started to flash like a whole bunch of lightning over that church. It's not gonna do it again now, but. I'll keep the camera on just in case. That's so annoying. I literally, it was the second I turned the camera off. Oh, there's the thunder. It's quite far away then. Maybe like a few miles out, but... Out into the... Yeah, most of the storms from here come from over the sea. How funny, I literally said I wanted a storm. Yeah. We've just got one roll in. So guys, we're probably about to witness an amazing lightning strike because I'm literally about to turn the camera off. But you won't see it because we'll no. turn it off. because we'll turn the camera off and it'll strike in five, four, <laughs> you can't bathe three, the lightning in. two, one. Oh my god, that literally, literally actually happened that. the second we turned the camera off. We're not even kidding. Like, As I was pressing the button, it flashed. Yeah. Literally, the moment we turned the camera off again, there's no lightning. I just... I can't believe that. I'm so disappointed in this sky right now. Turn the camera off, we'll have a full-on lightning stop. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> it literally flashed, didn't it? It did. And I bet it does it again in a second. I just, I just can't believe that it's exactly what we said was going to happen and it did, it I happened perfectly. You did, you just tried to bait it in, you're like, yeah, okay, we'll turn the camera off, we'll Fine. give up, and then it was literally just... Click. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
so irritating. And it was like, you couldn't see any forks, but it was just kind of like right over oh, there, the kind of that area. Yeah, there's like a nice big cloud up here. So that's been kind of flashing up. Again, now I'm just gonna be trapped here. Oh, let's listen to that rain. Wow, it's getting heavy. Yeah, like again, we're now just right back in that trap. We're like, I don't want to turn the camera off. We'll miss the lightning, even though it's not very exciting. And like, it's not an amazing shot of the lightning and it wasn't like a huge, cool fork that looks awesome. It was the first time. I still just want to capture it on camera because I just really like looking at lightning. It's- I also want you to know that we're telling the truth. Yeah. It's a fork, you know what There we go. It happened. Thank you. On camera, there was lightning, guys. We saw it. Oh, it's getting heavier. Oh, yeah, it is. So now we've caught some lightning, we probably will really actually say goodnight, so. Good night, everyone. Thank Thanks you. for watching the lightning with us. Yeah, we're about to watch this full lightning storm now and turn the camera. Yeah. Bye. Hey, quick, I'm turning it off. Do it again. Can't trick it. Can't trick the weather, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Really hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and why not subscribe to our channel? You can also check out one of our other videos that should be on screen right about now.